Welcome back, Mr. O here to show you the Kakurasu puzzle. Kakurasu, that's at least how I pronounce it. I got that from YouTube, so hopefully it's right. Uh, we're going to do this puzzle, hopefully give you some tips and tricks and get you on your way. Um, we'll see how it goes. That website, once again, is puzzle-kakurasu.com. So here we go. This is what it looks like, and the rules on the left-hand side. Pretty simple rules, kind of a challenging game. You start off easy, you're going to find this pretty easy. We'll see how it goes. Uh, what happens, ladies and gentlemen, is you have to create a sum of these numbers on the bot on the right hand side and on the bottom. And these numbers, the, where you put the box in here will determine how much each box is worth. For example, if I put a box here that is worth one, if I put a box here is worth two in this row, and I put a box here is worth three in this row, and I put a box here and it's worth four in this row. So if you need to sum to three, we already know, we're automatically know there can't be a four there in that row. And uh, and if you add all the numbers together, what do you get? One plus two plus three plus four. That's ten. So a nine sum would have to use everything except one. So this is two plus three plus four, or five plus four, which is nine. And this six, since you can't use four and two, you're gonna have to use one, two, and three. And that'll add up to six. Um, and then you do, so you're just working left and right, and you're looking at the different options. This is a one, so it could be one and four. Are there any other options? One plus what equals four, I mean, I mean, equals five. One and four equals five, but one and two would be too low, and then these numbers would push it above. So a lot of times, one of my main tips and tricks for this one is I look at what's possible. For example, in this one I said 10 is the most possible. So if I have a nine, the only thing I'm missing is a one. That's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And this number, as the puzzles get harder, you'll see that that's a, that's a good tip. All right, so uh, how do you add two? Uh, how do you add uh, to four? You have a one and a three. Uh, can you see any other way to do that? One, two, and four doesn't work, so one and three. This three is gonna need a two. Uh, one and four makes five, two and four makes six, and we are done with this puzzle. And so let's try another one that's a little bit more challenging. Uh, so we go over to the side. I'm going to choose the um, let's choose a five by five hard. Heck, what do, what do we got to lose? My computer is a little slow, so I might have selected a huge one by accident. It happens sometimes. Let me pause it while the computer loads. And we're back. Here we go, Kakurasu. Now, if we have five in a row or five in a column, the total sum for that, anybody know? Better think about it. All right, so we would have five, nine, 12, and three more is 15. 15 is the total. So when I have a 12, I am missing three. So it could be I'm just missing three. Or it could be I'm missing one and two. But if I'm missing three, it's either gonna be a three I'm missing or a one and a two. But four and five will definitely be used, without a doubt, without a doubt. All right, if I have a six here and I have a one already, then we can use that information. A three, I cannot use a four or five, right? Because it could be a one and a two, it could be a three, but I, I'm gonna put X's here for four and five. Um, notice four here, so that can't be a five. And so we're looking down here as well. We're looking at sevens, we're looking left and right, up and down. Here is a 10, that means I'm missing five. So it could be I'm missing the actual five uh, square, or it could be I'm missing a two and a three or a four and a one. So all the information that we get will be very helpful on this. All right, so let's see where else can we go. 11 means we're missing four, right? So five must be used. And then we're getting closer on the six because we have a one here and a three here. So if we have a one and a three, that's already four, we're certainly not gonna be able to get a five in there. So that's gonna be this. This is gonna be our situation. So this six is now done. 10 is using a five, so that's helpful. So we know we're gonna need the one. Uh, no, we're, we're gonna miss either the four and the one or two and three, never mind, we don't know that yet. All right, uh, let's see. Nine already has a one, so we need eight more. Well, if we didn't use the five, could we get eight? Absolutely not, we're gonna need that five. So five and three makes eight, and one more. 
Oh, look out. Now we figured out this 10. Once again, our total we can have is 15. We're missing five. So if we're missing four there, then we're missing one here. And that's our five that we're missing. So I find that to be helpful to look at the total and kind of work backward. Um, so this is a four that can't use a two. Not that we could have used a two anyway. It could be a three and a one or just a four. That's our choices for that one. Eight is using a two, so we need six more. Um, if we use a three, we can't use another three. If we use a four, we can't use another two. So we need to use a five and a one. So one and two is uh, three, and five more is eight. So we're done there. Uh, this 12, again, we're missing three, so boom, boom. Then our 12 is done. Nine and three is 12. Uh, four, since we can't use the one, then we can't use three. Four is done. This is a three, so we have a one here. This is a worth one in this column, and this is worth two. So that's three in that column. Nine is four and two and three. So we're not using this five. Hit the donezo button. Pew, pew, pew. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. So we did a couple, couple, couple of these uh, Kakurasu puzzles. Uh, I really enjoyed this one. I hope you do as well. And you can take a look at this one again. Um, let me know if you have questions. I'm happy to help in whatever way I can. And have a wonderful uh, day. Happy puzzling.